Triple header, triple header, lucky dog. Trouble with your VHF radio? Can't hear people's transmissions clearly? Or perhaps you keep calling and nobody answers. There are only a very few things that can go wrong, and here's what you should look for. The most common radio performance problems stem from a damaged cable or a bad connection between the PL259 connector and the radio. First, do a visual inspection of the cable for cracks or breaks, especially where the cable comes out of the antenna. If all that's okay, check your coaxial plug for corrosion or damage. A simple ohmmeter test may help determine if the PL259 connector installation is faulty, but first, be sure to read the specification sheet for your antenna to see if it should read as an open or a short circuit when functioning correctly. Bear in mind, too, that this test doesn't check the antenna for proper operation. For that, you need an SWR meter. Shakespeare's ART3 antenna radio tester can quickly troubleshoot your radio and antenna and pinpoint problems due to low output power from the radio, high standing wave ratio, or SWR, in the antenna, and even your radio's receiver capability. Remember that the lower the SWR reading, the better your radio system's performance. Look for an SWR of less than 3 to 1 and ideally 1 and a half to 1. Don't have a Shakespeare meter handy? Try tuning in to your strongest weather radio channel. Disconnect the antenna cable from the back of the radio. Then slide just the center conductor of the coax plug back into the antenna port, making sure that the outer screw ring doesn't touch anything. You should get better reception than with no plug attached. Insert the plug completely and tighten the coupling ring. Reception should improve if the antenna is working properly. However, if the reception gets worse or disappears, there's a short circuit at the connector in the coax cable or the antenna is defective. If you want more information, visit Shakespeare-Marine.com.